Now we're going to focus on the cells of the testes. All right. So there's three specific cell types that I want you to be familiar with of the testes. The first cells, these are called the, where can we put it? So you can see the spermatogenic cells. Spermatogenic cells. So these are the cells that give rise to all of the sperm cells that are being developed. Right. So the specific cell type involved in this are the cell types called spermatogonia. And spermatogonia, as you can recall, these are the stem cells of the male reproductive system. So spermatogonia give rise to sperm, right, through a several, several instances of symmetric division. One spermatogonia gives you four symmetric sperm. Right. Second cell type that I want you to know is responsible are called the Leydig cells. So the Leydig cells are responsible for the production of testosterone. So testosterone, which gives the male secondary sex characteristics, and primary sex character is responsible for it is secreted is is the cell type that is specifically in charge of the secretion of testosterone all right the hormone that is involved let's see what color do we have here with the actual stimulation of the Leydig is LH remember so luteinizing hormone that is secreted from where from the anterior pituitary comes in binds the Leydig cells in order for testosterone production that takes place. Right. During puberty, there is a high prevalence of testosterone being converted into DHT. So DHT, dihydrotestosterone, is a more potent form of steroid hormone, right? So DHT is the actual hormone that actually gives the secondary sex characteristics of males during puberty, right? And so this conversion is created by this specific enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. So this enzyme reduces testosterone, so it gives it a hydrogen, a couple hydrogens, to make dihydroxytestosterone, all right? And so this Regulation is really important because a lot of insufficiencies in this 5-alpha reductase can be used for, um, for any kind of pathological problem. So if someone has an inhibition of this 5-alpha reductase, what do you notice about them? Well, if you can understand this pathway, you can say that if they have an inhibition in this 5-alpha reductase, they have a lack of production of DHT. Lack of DHT leads to instances of lack of secondary male sex characteristics, right? So a very huge market, right? So you have a high prevalence of this DHT molecules in your hair follicles, right? So a very high marketed drug is called Propecia. So quick, quick story. So Propecia is a drug that is an inhibitor of the 5-alpha reductase. So it blocks 5-alpha reductase. So quick story, and then we can go get on with the rest of the, of the cells. So I have a friend, he is, is obsessed with his looks. Good looking dude, good looking, looks fantastic all the time, right? But again, is obsessed with his hair. You know, he says, if I lose my hair, I lose everything, right? And so he comes up and asks me a question about taking this drug, Propecia. And I told him, you know, Propecia is a very important drug responsible for inhibition of 5-alpha reductase, right? So people that have instances of benign prosthetic hyperplasia or prostate cancer, they inhibit this 5-alpha this, uh, reductase because one of the actual causes of this progression of these diseases is the dihydrotestosterone, right? So he's like, no, I don't have those problems. So he takes Propecia in order to cause this inhibition of 5-alpha reductase. Three years later, you notice every single day I see him, I'm like, wow, are you propitiating or rogaining? What's going on? Your hair looks amazing. It looks gorgeous, right? And so he 
on the other hand, said it looks great. He was very happy. But one thing that was very significant that I asked him is when you look at dihydrotestosterone, what are the different physiologic functions of dihydrotestosterone? We said secondary male characteristics. So uh, and growing of, of pubic hair, facial hair, thickening of voice, growth spurs, right? Also, another really important thing is involved with DHT is libido, right? And so, he, if there is a lack of DHT, there's a lack of libido. So I came up and asked him a very serious question. I was like, you know, so how's, how's your business? And he's like, what are you talking about? How's your business, right? And he said, it's funny that you point that out because the libido is completely gone. Ha! Huh. Well, then I explained them this pathway and I told them, you know, if you continue with this Propecia, there will be no libido. So what's the point of having the hair when the business doesn't work? He ended up choosing his hair over his business. So again, it's all relative. It's all perspective on what people care about. All right. Anyway, so number three cell type is the Ceratoli cells. So serotoli cells, these cells are stimulated by the anterior pituitary hormone, FSH, follicular stimulating hormone, right? And these specific cell types are responsible for nourishing the sperm. So they produce this, the, the support, the special type of micronutrients, specifically fructose, so the high prevalence of fructose, in semen, right? And this is due to the help of the serotoli cells.